With Max Verstappen already on his third engine following his crash at Silverstone, and teammate Sergio Perez probably needing a third engine at the next race, Red Bull find themselves in a precarious position. With 12 more races scheduled for this year, it is quite likely that Red Bull will have to utilise more than the three engines allocated to them, which would mean they will have to incur a grid penalty at some point. Some have suggested that Red Bull should take this grid penalty early on and get it out of the way. Red Bull advisor Helmut Marko has now deliberated on Red Bull's position while speaking to F1 Insider. I'm your host Dylan Shelley, and first up on Formula World, will Red Bull take grid penalty for new engines at Spa? Marco revealed Red Bull's emotions following the results of the last two races. It's a mixture of frustration and anger, perplexity and a little despair. The last two races could be described as collateral damage for us. We were comfortably in the lead, now we are not only behind in the world championship, a chassis has been destroyed, an engine, maybe even a second. He then pointed out how likely it is that they will have to incur a grid penalty for a new power unit at some point in the future. That means we have to expect a starting place penalty at some point in the year, because under these circumstances we can no longer get along with the three engines. He also pointed out how Mercedes, whose drivers have been the instigators of their troubles, have benefited from it all. It is cynical that we cannot help it and that Mercedes, whose drivers are the cause of our problems, is the big beneficiary. He then gave his views on Bottas' five-place grid penalty for Spa. With a well-tuned Mercedes, you can make up those positions in two laps, because there is hardly a track on which you can overtake better than Spa. He was then asked if they will take another power unit at Spa and get the grid penalty out of the way. He responded by stating, You have to at least think about it. Fast feed Mercedes trackside engineer Andrew Shovlin has suggested that maybe Red Bull couldn't balance a larger rear wing in Hungary. They went away from it on Saturday, and for us, it seems odd that you would ever run anything other than your biggest rear wing there, he added. To be honest, we're surprised by it ourselves. I mean, it's a pleasant surprise, but we were surprised to have had that margin for pole, for instance, Shovlin reiterated. Retired F1 driver Ralf Schumacher thinks that Red Bull's Max Verstappen could have been competing for the win in Hungary, so it's unfortunate and annoying for him. He also completely rules out that Bottas caused the crash on purpose. He is currently fighting for a drive in Formula 1 and was totally dejected himself. He further believes the Mercedes chapter is over for Bottas and he is currently negotiating with Williams or Alfa Romeo. A fatal mistake like that doesn't help and he knows that. Helmut Marko pointed out that Mercedes Lewis Hamilton was able to win in England despite the collision he caused. We accept the commissioner's assessment. Still, you can only shake your head after hearing Hamilton's radio traffic in Hungary during his duel with Alonso. It was far too risky what Alonso was doing there in the fast corners, he complained. But how does he rate his action in Cop's Corner and Silverstone, one of the fastest corners in Formula 1, Marco questioned. FIA race director Michael Massey hasn't had one of those before, where only one car was present on the grid for a race start. It was a bit different. What would have happened if Lewis had pitted? Basically, once the last car was in the pit lane, the start signal would have been initiated, and then once that went off, the green light at the pit exit would have come on, and it would have been the order at the pit exit. He added that it's nothing anyone could have ever foreseen, but they'll let things calm down and have a chat about it in the light of the day with all the sporting directors. Former F1 driver turned analyst Jolian Palmer has pointed out that Norris, Verstappen and Perez ahead of Bottas were understandably cautious on the brakes at Turn 1 in Hungary. Bottas misjudged his brake point. From the moment he hit the pedal, it was too late. There was nothing you can do once you've made the initial mistake. He added that getting the braking point right is down as much to guesswork as it is the feel of grip at the start. You have no reference at all for it, but it often pays to be cautious in these situations. Should Red Bull take a new power unit and get the grid penalty out of the way in the next couple of races? Head over to my community page to vote in the poll and let me know what you think in the comment. And if you liked this video, feel free to subscribe and check out my others for all the latest in the world of Formula 1.